we go. Ah, oh, oh, I forgot to turn my volume off. I was just a normal guy with lower than normal stoke levels. So when someone suggested one wheel, okay, I hang on. Until I tried. Turn my volume off. I don't know who's here yet. Oh, I don't see anybody here yet. Ha! I see four people here. Well, hello, Cynthia. And hello, Ju. <laughs> Do you know how long it's been since somebody called me Mima? Thank you. Hi, Julia. I think Tish will be here. I don't know when. I thought I would do one of my little saw blade clocks. I've taped off the back. This is not easy to do, but it's very important you do it because you don't want to get the drips stuck back here. So, I'm going to be using my favorite stone coat, art coat. Oh, hello, Cheryl! So I'm not sure how much I'm going to need because I'm actually going to be custom mixing two colors. I'm going to do six ounces, two ounces for the base, well less than two ounces for the base. Oh, there you are. Hello, Miss Tish. And y'all don't forget to smash that like button if you like what you're seeing. I do have some good news. Tish will put the link up, but it's down in the description, too. I started a Buy Me a Coffee. Um, oops, let me fix this a little bit. I started a... Uh, my toe is fine. Um, um, anyway, let me finish what I was saying. Um, I started a Buy Me a Coffee link. It's down in the description. Oh, hello, t the other Tish. And I'm also going to be putting some of my pieces for sale up there. And it will, um, um, it's in beta, so I'm not sure how it works. So, um, but they're going to let me test it. You know, I'm going to take it up to four. I'm going to do eight. So I thought... Oh, thank you for that, Tish. Um, and I haven't even hooked it up yet. There's supposed to be a way that if somebody gives me a... buys me a coffee during a live, it's supposed to go across the screen. So I have to see, um, I have to see how that, um, um, sets up and I might do it for next week. It just looks wrong. That's at four. Okay. I'm second guessing my mixing here. So anyway, um, yeah, um, um, but, um, it's Ko-Fi Co is the uh, site, and I thought I would give people a way, another way to donate, and, but I still haven't hooked it up yet to where, um, to where it'll go across the screen. Now, I don't know how many of you have seen me do these saw blades before, I've been, I've done a few of them. This one is a nice 10 inch saw blade. And yes, Tish, it was a brand new saw blade that I just spray paint, cleaned with alcohol and spray painted. She just about bit her tongue one day when she saw 
some saw blades that I was uh, spraying on. They were brand new Milwaukee blades. <laughs> Don't worry, this is a cheapy brand. I think it's from a place called Tool Shop. So anyway, um, and I wanted to see if I could take my mica powders and mix a dark turquoise and the coral orange. So what I ended up doing was, well I can't show you at the moment because I'm stirring. Um, I got out a blue and a green and I do know that a turquoise, when you mix it, you mix two parts. Oh, because of this, <laughs> sorry Tish. Um, I do know that to, uh, you take a blue and a green and you mix two parts of the blue at one part of the green. You can brighten it up a little bit with a little bit of yellow and then you can tone it down a little bit with a little bit of white. And then I'm going to do a red and an orange with some white in it to make a coral orange. <laughs> well, I don't know anybody, Cheryl, that has an old blade to give me, so that's all I could do, you know. You know, that's that's all I could do to do that. And don't forget, after my live, we're going to head on over to the Artist Haven, because she's got a special guest tonight, and oh, I can't wait to see her. I love, it's, um... Heather made art, and I love her work. As a matter of fact, I'm on Art of Palooza tomorrow night, and if I can um, get some paints mixed up tomorrow during the day, I'm thinking of doing some acrylics tomorrow night with balloon rolls. So we'll see how that goes. So anyway, um, okay, here we go. You want to mix it till it, it doesn't matter about the bubbles. Okay, um, I'm going to have to put the resin in first because I don't know how much powder I'm going to need. So I'm going to do a white. I'm going to do a little bit of gold. Don't want a whole lot. And then I'm going to do Oh, I know. Snorter Palooza is going to be fun. Although y'all got to remember, I'm the lone one that doesn't snort on camera. I'm not saying I snort off camera either. Well, I'm going to end up with a little bit of color in reserve, but that's okay. It'll it'll stay it'll stay okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to try Let me get these out of the way. I'm going to try. I'm going to need a couple of different sticks to do this. Okay. So you want to do two parts blue. Okay. Might as well just stick that one in there. Okay, and then I'm going to do one part green. I'm going to take a fresh stick. And I do have my yellow somewhere here. Ha! <laughs> Thought I did. Okay. I don't know where my yellow went. Uh oh. Okay, now, let's see, you want to stir, because I put them in on top, you want to stir it slowly. So you get it all mixed up. That doesn't exactly look like a dark turquoise, but I don't want to add any black to it and mess it up. Okay, what do you guys think? Does that look like a turquoise? <laughs> I believe it, Tish. Uh, 
I'm going to put just a hair bit more green in there. That's why I left the stick in the jar open because I wasn't sure if I was going to need more green in there or not. Oh yes, this looks like a turquoise now. Okay, so I got my turquoise. Uh, let me do my gold real quick and my white before I start mixing. Oh, let me close this. This stick is now garbage because it already got powder on it. Well, I guess I could use the other end. You know, I didn't think of that. Just wipe the green off and use the other end for the gold. So I'm kind of excited that I um, decided to go to that uh, one website and make a, a page. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Cameras pick it up, pick it up hard um, for you to see it. Um, it it takes the uh, blues, the the greens, and makes them look blue. And it takes the uh, uh, hello Evelyn, and it takes the uh, purp makes the the blues look purple. Cameras don't work good with those colors. Okay, got my gold. Uh, white, 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 white. Let me do my white. Don't need a whole lot of this casting craft. I like using the casting craft because it's it's more of a true white than any of the um than any of the Rust-Oleum paints I use. And if I want cells and I don't get them with swiping, I can always do a torch and tilt. That always produces cells. That is such a pretty white. Almost looks like um, cream. Okay, now comes the other fun part. Um, oh, I'm going to need my white. Where's my white? Where's my white? There it is. Well, hello, Kim. Okay, and there's my orange. Okay. So it's one part red. I might as well use that stick in there. Can't use it for anything else now. And then it's one part orange, and I don't have a canister of orange, so I gotta dig it out of a little bag, which is not that big of a deal, really. Oh, hello, Trey! Well, you know what? I can use the other end. Let me wipe this off. I got an alcohol rag over here. I can use the other end to get my white out. Okay, now. Let's see if we come up with a coral orange. I'm trying to do... Eh, it looks more pink than anything. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more orange in there. See if I can get it to look a little bit more like coral. Oops, not that much. Damn it. Okay, yeah, it's looking a little bit more orange. Well, we'll see how they look together. 
me put the lid on this. Oh, um. Oh, yay, Mrs. Mac. I hope to see some of her pouring videos on either on your channel or have her start her own channel. Okay. Now, first thing I got to do is I got to clean, clean the powder off my gloves because I don't want it well you know what oh, I got it in that hand too because I'm going to be put well I may have to just do it with the uh, I may just have to do it with the uh, with a thumb or a pinky something that doesn't look covered I'm trying to save a little bit because right after the live I've got to do a short video of doing a coaster with these colors uh, this hand looks okay I'm just spreading it around because I want the whole thing covered and I'm trying not to get my dirty fingers in there I taped off the hole in the middle because the hole on these saw blades is bigger than the shaft on a clock part so what you have to do is is you have to make your own hole in the resin once it once it's all done and it's ready for the clock part Yes, making sure I don't got any little dry spots. Yep, oh, dry spot. Yep, that's what she said. Did anybody type that yet? <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to type. That's what she said when I said dry spot. Sorry. But we're all adults here, I hope. Well, I don't know about you, Tish. You're still a big kid at heart. Okay, now. Here is my turquoise. I want to put my coral on top of that. Aha. Hi, Angela. I knew somebody would say it, Cheryl. <laughs> hey, we're all adults here, and we're all used to that being said, so... Okay, I don't want to do as much... Orange. Yeah, it looks like a coral. I know the camera's not picking it up right. Okay, now I'm going to do just a little bit of gold right down the center. Okay, and I got swipey papers, but before you swipe, you got to heat it up. And I'm just going to use my heat gun to do that. I haven't had it on today, so my rule of thumb is you always turn it on for five seconds away from your piece that blows out all the dust boogers that collected up in there overnight you want to pop the bubbles out of the resin but you also want to heat up all the resin because it's easier to swipe it Okay, now you want to use the straight edge of it. Oh, I 
I've been doing, I've been saying that for the whole time I've had my channel, Cheryl. Turn it on for five seconds and blow those dust boogers out. Okay, let's see. You want to keep the, the paper, how do I put it? You want to keep it all as a, uh, as a, like a flat edge. Because all you're trying to do is skim those colors over the, um, the base coat, which is the white in this case. Oh, I got like a little geode shape thing there. You know what? I want to go with a little bit smaller of a swipe right here. See, now it's trying to dig in. There we go. Okay, let me try the other end. And like Tish says, you go real slow. One watermelon, two watermelon, three watermelon, four watermelon. And you turn it and pick it up. So you get a little trail at the end. Okay, now I'm going to try. <laughs> this is not going to be easy, but I'm going to try. To get it going right above it. You can see it a little bit. Okay. Try debating now. I'm going to do a big one coming right from up here. See, it took off too much of the color right there. Okay, put you there, put you there. Tear. Thank you, I mixed these. Evelyn, I mixed the colors. Um, I did the turquoise out of a, a, I didn't put the colors down below because I wasn't sure if I, if I was gonna get the good colors or not. Um, but it was a mixture of a blue and a green for the turquoise. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's going to be like that for the clock. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to put a little, couple little gold ribbons in there. Oh! Heat it up first with the torch. This is my favorite color combination. And my torches spit. Okay, I'm going to see if I can swipe that off. I just don't like that, that solid color right there. There 
There we go. I like that better. Okay, now. Yeah, it's my favorite, favorite, favorite color combination. Although, I like the turquoise to be darker. And I like the coral orange to be just a little bit lighter. But it was starting to look a little too pink in the cup. See, it never fails. I always get my little sperms right here, and I hate that. I hate those blobs, because they, they do look like little sperms to me. Oh, Rhea's being a pita, huh? That's what my mom used to say. Looking at the natural design of it. I don't want to put too much gold in there. Okay. I'm going to heat it up with the torch. I am going to try to do... Let me see if I can get my chair to move backwards. I am going to stand up and see if I can do a couple, <laughs> this is what I don't like, a couple of little torch and tilts with the gold. This is like trying to hold a uh, waitress tray in your hand with a bunch of drinks on it. Okay, I don't know. What do you guys think? Too much gold, not enough gold. Oh, good for you, Evelyn. Yeah, waves are not easy to do. I'm going to try to wispy that out right there, that, that, that turquoise spot, just, it seems too solid on the edge. Here I go, trying to, uh, see it takes, I can't have something in my hand.
when your resin gets really liquid like that, when you put a lot of fire on it, it'll go back and forth a little bit. Something doesn't look right right there. Just look like a big bubble. It's not a bubble, but oh hey, got a long one to walk away, right? Like a giant black tumbleweed. <laughs> I bet he's a cute little tumbleweed, huh? Well, I see something in there that I'm not happy about. Let me see if I can. I see something in there that I'm not sure what it is. Might just be a bubble. Well, I don't know which way it's going to where I'm going to put the, this might look good for the numbers and get that get that little one right up there. So, let me bring it in for a close-up. Don't forget, down below, I do have a link for buy me a coffee. And I'm going to set it up to where I can get it to roll across the screen. Seeing how close I can bring it. I do have some cells right here where my thumb's at. It's been a while since I made one of these big ones. They're fun to do. So, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Don't forget, in oh, 57 minutes, because it's 6.33, um, we get to go watch Tish interview um interview uh heather mater on her channel I'm trying to pick up these without getting them all sticky and that should be interesting right thank you cheryl and um by this weekend and i'll put it on my community tab when i finally get it done I will have a couple of my pieces listed over on the Buy Me a Coffee site. So if you go to Buy Me a Coffee this weekend um, to my page over there, they're doing a beta test. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Trey. Um, so I hopefully will have that up um, this weekend. So I want to thank y'all for coming out. I love the resin right out of you guys. Y'all are awesome. You know that. And I'm going to go now and I will see, hopefully see everybody over at, um, Tish is live in an hour. Well, roughly an hour. Oh, hi. Hi, Christina. Hi, Christina. That's okay. Is Alan watching too, I hope? Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing that, Tish. So... Yep, smash that like button. Oh, we love you too, Cynthia. 
even your even your little tumble tumbleweed Yorkie. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist saying that. Okay, see you all over at Tisha's Live. It's going to be interesting. So, you guys have a good evening. I'll see you over there because I will be modding um, over there. And all I can say is bye for now.